हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू लेक्चर ऑन टेस्ट बेंच फॉर एनकोडर्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू बिल्ड द टेस्ट बेंच फॉर एनकोडर एंड ऑल्सो वेरीफाई द प्रीवियसली डिजाइन वी एच डी एल कोड विज इन दिस टेस्ट बेंच नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द एक्चुअल सेशन लेट्स पॉज द वीडियो एंड थिंक अबाउट वॉट इज अ एनकोडर इफ यू remember here if you saw the previous video lectures we have designed the vhdl modules for different uh, combinational circuits and sequential circuits and in that we covered full adder half adder encoder decoder right and multiplexer demultiplexer so if you remember that the encoder is nothing but which is converts one form to the other form or one format to other format or which maps inputs to the different outputs format right so you can see over here this is a 8 bit inputs are there and which are mapped with the 3 bit output right so it is called 8s to 3 encoder right so it encodes your inputs into the outputs right so 8 bit inputs are there 8 bit inputs are encoded in 3 bit output right so how this mapping is done or how this mapping is performed you can see the this table right so whatever the 8 bits are there in a input so this combination is mapped with the this combination of 3 bit output right you can see over here so whenever the i of 0th bit is 1 in that case you are having all the zeros at the output line and whenever the i of 1 bit is 1 your z of 0 bit is 1 right as your every one bit from the input is one according that you are having different combination in the output side right means that your 8 bits are encoded in the form of 3 bits on the output side so that's why it is called as a 8s to 3 encoder now before uh, starting the test bench writing you must know for about the vhdl code or module for this 8s to 3 encoder so let's have a look at that vhdl module for 8s to 3 encoder every module has three different parts or important parts you can say first is a library declaration so library is included library ieee and from that we are using the package that is st logic 1164 so and from that package we are using all so that's why use ieee dot std logic one one six four dot all so this is the library declaration part second important part of the your vhdl module is the ntd declaration so ntd is written now this one is the eight s two three encoder so mention name mention for the ntd is encoder eight three right in the ntd it describes the inputs and outputs of your device or system now in this case your decoder and sorry encoder is having eight inputs and three outputs so i is a input i mode is in type is a std logic vector 8 bits are there so that's why it is mentioned 7 down to 0 z is the output so z mode is out type is again std logic vector because 3 bit output is there so that's why it is mentioned 2 down to 0 once you done with the inputs and outputs mentioning you have to end the entity so end entity name is there right third important part of your usdl module is a final part that is the architecture writing so architecture architecture name of for which entity you are writing the architecture that entity name supposed to be there here we are writing for encoder 8s to 3 so that name supposed to be same right is then your architecture begin after that you have to write the behavior of your 8s to 3 encoder how your circuit is going to functional right so that can be summarized with the help of table whatever we created in a previous slide so that can be written with the help of case statement using uh, in this vhdl module so that can be written in the inside the process so we have to include the process process in the bracket i i is nothing but the sensitivity list you have to mention while writing the process sensitivity list is nothing but the list which affects the output of your system right so in this case you are having only one signal which affects the output so that's why i is there then your process begin right then case statement we have used 
सो केस आई इज वेन आई इज हैविंग दिस वैल्यू यू कैन रेफर द टेबल वट एवर वी क्रिएटेड इन ए प्रीवियस लाइफ वेन आई इज हैविंग दिस वैल्यू देन जेड इज हैविंग दिस दैट्स वाई वी क्रिएटेड द टेबल सिमिलरली वेन आई इज हैविंग दिस कॉम्बिनेशन सेकेंड बीट इज वन इन दैट केस जेड इज हैविंग जीरो जीरो वन सो दिस इज हाव वी कैन कंप्लीट ऑल द कंडीशंस वंस वी डन वन मोर कंडीशन लास्ट इज देयर वेन अदर्स अदर दैन दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज देयर ऑन द इनपुट साइड इन दैट केस युअर आउटपुट इज हैविंग ऑल झेड दैट इज हाई इम्पिडन्स राइट वंस यू डन विद द केस राइटिंग यू हैव टू एंड द केस ऑल द केसेस यू आर डन यू हैव टू एंड द केस आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू एंड द प्रोसेस सो एंड प्रोसेस एंड यू हैव टू एंड द आर्किटेक्चर एंड आर्किटेक्चर राइट After this, you can use any simulator. There are lots of simulator available in the market. You can use the any simulator. Use this code, complete, perform the simulation. You can verify the with the help of waveforms. If you run the simulation, you will get the output like this, right? So this is the input, eight bit input, and below are the individual bit wise is shown, and this is the three bit output, and again it is shown bit wise, right? Now, when the input is all U means undefined, in that case, your last statement, whatever you return in a case statement, when others, your Z equals output equals to Z Z Z, so that's why it is shown Z Z Z, right? Then, according uh, if any condition satisfy from the cases given, according that the output is changes. See, it is zero zero zero, then zero zero one, then one one zero, then all one. If according any having bits 1 and this satisfy the from the case statement you are having according that output generated so this is how you can verify the bhdl module now let's go for the test bench writing of that right so again for the test bench writing you have three important parts library declaration same as you done for the bhdl module then entity writing but here the entity supposed to be empty nothing to write in that entity you just mention the entity name and end the entity that's it so that's why it is entity entity name and end entity name right then architecture part is there architecture architecture name of for which entity you are writing the architecture that entity name supposed to be there is then component declaration the done so component declaration means for which you are writing the test bench for that a uh, module you have to use as a component so we are using uh, writing a test bench for encoder 8s to 3 so we are using that entity as a component so same entity mention as a component so only the difference is what instead of entity keyword we have used keyword component so component declaration is done same port supposed to be there as you created in a entity right after that end component then you have to mention the inputs and outputs inputs i is input which is as taken as a signal again type of vector range is 7 down to 0 8 bit input signal is there then z is the output again type is a vector that is 2 down to 0 because 3 bit output signal is there right after that we have taken one constant called period of 100 nanoseconds right you can take this one or you can directly write a 100 nanosecond while using it right instead of calling period right then we have to start the architecture so architecture begin begin keyword is there so whatever the statement written between this architecture line and begin keyword all are the declarative part right then you have to write the component instantiation right so the for that you have to follow the syntax that is label then component name component name is the here encoder 83 then port map keyword you have to use and inside the brackets you have to perform the mapping that is i is mapped with the i this i is mapped with this i and z is mapped with this z right once you done with the component instantiation you have to write the process so process then process begin keyword now here you have to write all the cases what you have for which you are writing test bench first case let's see when i i equals to i am assigning the value i with this 
and we have waited for period here instead of period you can directly write a 100 nanosecond right then assert statement is used assert statement is used to check the boolean condition and if that condition fails then it generates the report statement whatever it is mentioned if that condition fails i am saying it is not similar to the if loop if condition whenever the condition is true then and then it comes in a loop in if here it is opposite if that condition fails in assert then boolean condition fails then it comes in uh, to generate the report statement right so if that condition fails it generates the report statement which are of different types the report statement can be of note type can be of warning type can be of error type so this one is of error type right and if that condition true boolean condition true it go for the next case so this is one case i equals to this value z supposed to be this right if that's true go for the next so similarly this is one case you have to complete the remaining cases so these are the remaining cases you can go through that whenever i is having this value z supposed to be this if that fails it generates this statement report this statement so this is how the assert statement is used right for all cases right once you done with the all the combinations of your inputs right then you have to end the process right and then you have to end the architecture so end architecture so this is how you can write the test bench same way you can verify with the help of simulation so if you run this code in a simulator and if you perform the simulation you will get the output something like this so i is the input of 8 bit z is the output of 3 bit right for each input combination it will show the output and if you you can verify this with the your previous vhdl module code and you can say that my code is uh, working properly right if it is having any error in that case the waveform will be different right so these are the references thank you